Hello all, I am back again for yet another session for 10th standard. This time I am taking mensuration. Okay. So I have selected one problem from challenging questions. Let us see. You can see in the diagram here that a triangle is given and below that a semicircle is given. Inside that semicircle, you have a small segment over here. You know the meaning of segment. Not the regular segment. This segment. PMQ. From the information given, find the area of the shaded part. Find the area of the shaded part. Okay? So, in this case, the first step in the answer itself becomes our hint. Very simple thing. Area of the shaded part will be equal to what? Just concentrate over here. Semicircle ko dekho pehle. We need to find area of the semicircle. Area of the semicircle minus area of the segment will give us area of the shaded portion. Wapas dekho. Area of the shaded part will be equal to area of the semicircle minus area of segment PMQ. Semicircle may say segment hata diya, to shaded part mil raha hai. Although OPNQ is a sector, we do not require to find area of the sector. Koi jarurat nahi hai. Because area of the sector minus area of the small sector again will give us some difficulty in solving. Instead of that, just look at the semicircle. Okay? So area of the semicircle minus area of the segment will be our answer, which I have written as the first step. Area of the shaded part will be equal to area of the semicircle. PMQ, semicircle ka naam diya hai PMQ, minus area of segment PMQ, this is a segment PMQ, that is our answer, that is the method, right? Now let us go ahead and see how to solve, how to get area of a segment. So look at the segment here, area of segment PMQ. So area of segment PMQ, if you want to find, what is the formula? R squared pi theta upon 360 minus sin theta upon 2. This is the standard formula. Now obviously, before writing this formula, in the exam we should write radius is 10, R is 10. Okay. This angle is 60 degrees, okay fine, we will see about that later. Then. You should write theta equal to 60 and then write the formula. Now, in, after writing this formula, kya hone wale? just put the value of r and theta over here. Put the value of r and theta. They have mentioned that take the value of pi as 3.14. Okay, so pi ki value 3.14 li hai. Right? So, if I substitute over here, theta is 60, pi is 3.14 r is 10, what do I get? I get all this. Jan se dekho. Okay. So now, 60 upon 360. 60 into 6 is 360. 6 is 36. So you get 3.14 upon 6, 10 squared is 100. Value of sine 60, root 3 by 2. Okay. Value of sine 60 root 3 by 2 and upon 2. Right? So, we upon 2 ane ke baad, again I am repeating, don't cancel this 2. Many times you have seen, you should not cancel that 2. You should use the formula. I will just show you this calculation. Numerator into reciprocal of denominator. Just observe. 
numerator into reciprocal of denominator and the reciprocal of 2 is 1 by 2 so 2 or 2 cancel nahi hote 2 into 2 gives you 4 root 3 into 1 gives you root 3 that is the reason you get root 3 by 4 here clear okay so after getting this what is the next step next step is to find the LCM you have a fraction here to find the LCM of 6 and 4 now we all know LCM of 6 and 4 is taken as 12 okay. 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12 so common LCM is 12 and for root 3 I have taken 1.73 okay so after finding the LCM as 12 How do we calculate? Again, we have seen many times, but again I am repeating. Go to the first fraction. 6 into 2 is 12. 6 into 2 is 12. So 3.14 into 2, 6.28. 4 into 3 is 12. So 1.73 into 3 gives you 5.19. Okay? So 6.28 minus 5.19 upon 12. That is what we get. <coughs> 12 is the LCA. Now we have a subtract here. 6.28 minus 5.19. That gives me 1.09 upon 12. Right? So 1.09 upon 12. I'll calculate now. 100 into 1.09 when you multiply any number by 100 the point will shift to the right by two places so you get 109 so 109 upon 12 so 109 upon 12 if you calculate you get 9.08 centimeter squared you all know the basic calculations so i haven't shown that over here but practice these basic calculations for mensuration. You require these basic calculations. Okay. So 109 upon 12 gives you 9.08 centimeter squared. 9.08 centimeter squared is area of segment P and Q. Yeah, area mila. This area. I am repeating, I am not finding area of this sector. Area of segment directly. Right? Now look at the formula. Area of segment pehle mila hai. Now we need to find area of the semicircle P and Q. Area of semicircle P and Q. So, to find the area of this semicircle, I need to find this is the diameter. Obviously, you can see here PQ is the diameter of the semicircle. So, supposing this is the radius, I need to find the radius. How to find the radius? What have I written here? Now, show that triangle OPQ is equilateral. Show that triangle OPQ as equilateral triangle. Okay. So what will happen when we show it as an equilateral triangle? Three sides will be equal. We can directly get the diameter. We will get the side PQ first. Or our side PQ mil gaya yane, diameter mil gaya semicircle ka. Okay. So we need to find side PQ. For that, how do we show triangle OPQ as equilateral? Now why equilateral? Because this angle is 60. These two sides are equal. So, ye equilateral is the equilateral. I have left some space over here. I will just show you. In triangle OPQ, observe. OP equal to OQ.
given. So this angle equal to this angle if you call it as x and x. These angles are equal because it becomes an isosceles triangle. Right? So after saying OP equal to OQ, I am going to say both these angles are equal to X. 60 plus X plus X equal to 180. Why are these angles equal to X first? Because angles opposite to congruent sides are congruent or first of all it is an isosceles triangle. Base angles of an isosceles triangle. A sides equal hai, yani base angles equal hai. So after calling them as X and X, let us add the three angles. Kya milta hai? 60 plus X plus X equal to 180. So 2x equal to 180 minus 60, 120. So x equal to 120 upon 2, 60. So agar x 60 mil gaya. So this is 60, this is 60. Both are x, right? So you can say that Therefore, angle OPQ equal to angle OQP equal to 60. I had left that space for you to write later on. Okay, practice this once more after this explanation is over. So, this is 60, this is 60, this is 60. That is what we wanted to show. Triangle OPQ is equilateral. So, after getting that triangle as equilateral, we can say, PQ equal to 10. Follow? After getting this triangle as equilateral, all three sides are equal. Sides of an equilateral triangle are same. Therefore, OP equal to PQ equal to OQ equal to 10. That means PQ is also 10. So if PQ and the cap will get, PQ is the diameter now. PQ is the diameter of the semicircle, which we have got as 10. So if the diameter is 10, radius, the diameter 10 miller, so radius will be 5. Radius of the semicircle 5, R equal to 5. That is the radius of the semicircle. Remember, this R is different. Uska kam ho gaya R kam. So this R is for semicircle. Okay. So now, after getting R as 5, half of 10, what is the formula for area of semicircle? Area of circle is pi r squared. So area of semicircle will be half pi r squared. Half pi r squared. So half into 3.14 into R is 5, 5 squared. They have asked pi to take as 3.14. So that is 3.14 into 25 upon 2. We have 2 niche here. So 25 upon 2 is 12.5. So 3.14 into 12.5 gives us 39.25 centimeters squared. 39.25 centimeters squared. Right? That is the area of the semicircle. Now in the last step, area of the shaded part is equal to, we already have the formula, area of semicircle minus area of segment. Don't answer some pass hai, just substitute the values. Area of semicircle is 39.25 minus area of segment PMQ is 9.08, which you have already found. Subtract karne ke baad, we get the answer as 30.17 cm squared. Right? AC method have. So you can practice the problem now.
when practicing if you get any doubts you are free to call me and ask me or text me also kuch bhi doubt rahega to puchho to ye aspect important hai root 3 upon 2 upon 2 2 never gets cancelled 2 into 2 4 karna hai half upon 2 aaya to 2 into 2 4 karna hai cancel mat karo and then find the lcm method of lcm i have explained many times practice this get the answer correctly it is one of the challenging questions which can be asked okay so this was one example for maturation which i have taken today for you to practice okay see you later with some other problems bye till then